What's up guys, Shane with Figuac 3D Printing and today we're going to do a little bit of work on my GTEC Purse i3. So guys, like I said, we're going to be taking a look here at my GTEC Purse i3. We need to make some changes. So the first thing is the fan mount here was way too thin on this model so I went wrote to the maker of it and asked him if he could make it a bit thicker and he did and this is quite a bit thicker if we take a look at it with a ruler here it is two millimeters thick vice the original being one millimeter if that very very thin so I went ahead and reprinted that it did not come out perfect I do have some layering in here that I'm not really a fan of, but it's gonna work for this application. It doesn't need to be perfect. The other thing we're gonna be doing is installing my micro Swiss nozzle. So this actually came off of the original MK8 extruder that I had on the GTEC, and I was looking online to go ahead and buy another nozzle from micro Swiss, but I looked and the E3D V6 is also an M6. Well, the original MK8 was M6, so again, also, the fact that they're the same threading and they, everything looks exactly the same on them. They're just sold as two diff different nozzles. So we're gonna go ahead and give this a shot and I have another heater block here that I had as a spare. And we, I have another throat here, but actually we'll be installing this throat in here as well as this is an E3D clone throat, which is all metal. So there is no PTFE tubing in this whatsoever, which is great news. So let's pull off the old fan and get going from there. Okay, and there's the old shroud off. So we need to keep these bolts. You see here my little tape job with some washers on there just trying to keep that thing together whoops it just totally sucked so okay now that we're in here we can take off the thermistor which you can see right there okay so now that we have that off we can go ahead and take off just the nozzle so i was going to take off just the nozzle and replace it but i don't think i'm going to do that now but we're going to get the rest of this tighten off here first actually because it is definitely in my way now this also is a Titan clone. If you haven't seen my original video of me installing this, you can go ahead and check that out in the card or down below. There we have it. Now in order to get any of this off, we need to heat this sucker up. So let's apply power to the printer. Okay, now that it's connected and online, we can now go ahead and heat this up, pull off the old nozzle and put the new nozzle on. Now I bought this from E3D and it's their little hot end tool. You can use this or you can use I mean, whatever else you have, a pair of pliers, just be careful that you don't hurt the nozzle. It is only brass so it will shred very quickly. That was much easier to come off than I thought it was going to be. So it was a little bit loose. Okay, so there's my nozzle, which is hot, hot, hot. Okay, and now, let's see about taking off the heat break. Okay, and you can see there's a little bit of ooze on that. You can see that there. A little bit of ooze on there. So now we just need to pull this out, if I can. You know what? I can't at the moment. So thankfully I have another one here. That should work out. Actually, now that I look at it, this throat is legit made for an E3D because it's an M7 thread and an M6 thread well, these clones are only M6. Son of a gun. Okay, well, it's not a huge loss. We can, we can deal with that. But uh, that means I can keep this. This one here can stay the same. So we will hold on to that block with pliers or something. I don't want to get burned. 
This is wicked hot. And the first thing is we need to screw in the new nozzle. So you want to take this all the way in. Okay, and you can see a little, a little plastic on here still. All the way in, and then just back it out just a smidgen. And quarter turn tops. Put the heat brake back in. Get that tight against it, okay? And now while you're holding the heat block, you want to get your adjustable wrench and get a nice turn down. And bam, you are reconnected up with a new nozzle. Now we can easily put this back together once I find the pieces. Actually, first, let's turn it off. I can feel the heat off. Okay. I don't need that heating up anymore. Especially because there's no fan on it right now. Sometimes, honestly, that is the hardest part to do is just get that sucker on there. Okay, so once that's on there, we'll put the faceplate back on without pinching wires is usually desirable. All right, so this screw and our bottom one can go in first. Now when you cramp this down, don't over tighten it. So many people over tighten these, whether it's the legit or the clone. I don't understand why people do it. You're, you're screwing plastic, okay? Don't don't get crazy on it. And you need to make sure this still moves fairly well. I mean, it, does, it shouldn't move easily, but it should rotate with minimal amount of force. And if we look here, we need to adjust that. It's a little too low. Okay, so now we have our fan on here now. Well, we have our mount. So here's my fan. It just fits on there like so. And we'll need to bolt that back down using this little guy. And that is so much nicer than having to worry about that tiny one millimeter piece of plastic. It really is. Because that was just so doggone hard to fix on the original one. And long size bit. Tighten it down again. Don't ever tighten it. Plastic on plastic, guys. It's not. Don't go too bad. Don't go too hard. Okay, we'll reattach this now, which I should have did that last. <laughs> so let's take this back off. I didn't obviously pay attention here. Take this off. And this goes on first. So. Wrong size screw. My goodness, I can't use enough. I have two different size bits on here. I don't know what in the world I was thinking. I should say these bits. I have two different size screws on here. And that does not even fit in there. What am I doing? That's the one that goes up there. Yeah, that's actually biting. There we go. Is that one kind of tight? Yeah, this one. <laughs> I don't know how I'm using two different size screws here. Nice tight. Let me just tighten this top one up one more time. Just to make sure it's yeah, it's perfect now. Okay, now we can install the fan here. Now, if you notice, I have a little piece of uh, blue tape just kind of doubled over, just to kind of help hold that in more because I don't have the long enough bolt for this top piece, which is supposed to be like 55 or 60 millimeters. And I only have, I think, 45 or 50, so not quite long enough for it to work properly. So, but we can s secure it with this one, and it works just fine. We're not getting any crazy wobble with this thing. There it is, nice and secure. And we now have that nozzle on there. 
Last but not least, let's reattach our fan. There's the fan. Now we plug that in. Red to red, black to black. Oh, there it goes. That thing is so loud, my goodness. I guess it is. That's swapping out the nozzle and exchanging this part. So this is a quick little video of some of the work that I do here and my spare time, I'll call it, or just in my evenings before I start doing all the prints. Now, I'm using the Micro Swiss nozzle mainly for printing the uh, rough materials, the abrasive materials. And the next one that I have to print that is abrasive is the uh, bronze fill, which is from Color Fab, and that came in the February Maker Box. And that video will be coming up soon. So, thanks for watching, guys. If you enjoyed the video, give it a like. You know everything, subscribe, there's Patreon, links down below, support the channel any way you see fit, and until next time guys, happy printing.